Hi, I'm Skylar, and this is my list of things I've identified as in the past 21 years. There's eight things on here, seven of which had been only in the past 10 years. This is going to be my theme for this week's video, um, the topic of which is coming out, and that is that sexuality and gender are fluid, thus they change over your lifetime. You are not really expected to, nor do you have to stay in one particular pigeonhole for your entire life. You can be anything and everything, up, down, in, out, and round, and round, and round, up, and back, and forth. You can be everywhere on any sort of spectrum, or jumble, or loop-de-loop, -loop. as many times as you want, whatever you want, however long you want, whatever. Um, so my favorite part about um, the topic of coming out is when I get to say, well, the first time I came out, dot, 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 everyone always gives me a weird look, but yeah, I came out more than once, um, as often contradictory sexualities and genders. But because it's fluid, I don't really care. Um, so I've kind of touched a little bit on my coming out um, before, so I'll just kind of recap on that before I get into kind of a motivational speech. I'm not going to be a motivational speech person. Um, I identified as cishet for most of my life, which is cisgender. If you remember, my gender identity and my biological sex matched up, heterosexual. So I was a female who identified as female, attracted to males who identified as males for the majority of my life. Until about eighth grade, so. Okay, until I was in eighth grade. Um, then I met my friend Becky, who was bisexual, and she told me, hey, guess what, I'm bisexual. And I said, oh, that's cool. What does that mean? She said, oh, I like boys and girls. I said, okay. Oh, good. I'll be bisexual. That sounds awesome. So I was bisexual. Um, in 10th grade, I came out as bisexual to my mom. We were coloring Easter eggs, and I made one for a friend of mine whose girlfriend had just broke up with her. Um, and the egg said, for Casey. And my mom said, who's Casey? I said, oh, my friend whose girlfriend broke up with her. She's gay. And my mom said, oh, she's way too young to know that. And I told her, I said, Mom, I'm bisexual. And she looked at me and she said, no, you're not. That was the end of that. Did not come out to my mom again for a very, very long time. At this point, I would like to say that no matter how old you are, you know your own identity. No one can tell you if your identity is wrong, if you're too young, if you don't understand. That's not a thing. So just want to remind you of that. You know yourself better than anyone else knows you. You can label yourself better than anyone else can label you. Um, from then, I said I was gay. I just felt it was easier than saying bisexual because I used gay as an umbrella term. So I'd be like, oh, hey, I'm gay. That means I'm not straight. My boyfriends were not very fond of that. I didn't really care. I did it anyway because, again, I can label myself. They can't. Uh, my sophomore year of college, I came to understand the term pipe pansexual, which is to feel an attraction to somebody regardless of what their gender identity is, um, which is how I'd always felt. I just didn't know there was a term for that because I knew that there were more than two genders. I just didn't know what sort of sexuality would go with that. Um, and I came out to a lot of my friends and such as pansexual, but nobody really understood what pansexual meant. So it was really, really frustrating. Am I right, Kaylee? Am I right? Um, but my junior year in college, I just stuck with queer, because queer, I felt, was an umbrella term. Me and umbrella terms, we get along real good. Um, so I came out as queer, which means it was just an umbrella term, meaning I'm not straight. God forbid I'd be straight. Whew, that's boring. Um, but up until my senior year in college, so up until I was about 20, 20 years old, 20, 21 years old, I was cisgender. So the majority of my life, I had been one identity for my gender. And I've only been a separate identity. I've only had this identity uh, as a non-cisgender for a few months, which is okay. Um, I started questioning my gender. And I came to terms with being gender queer, meaning I don't know what I am. I'm just not a girl. Then I was gender fluid. So I was back and forth between boy and girl. And then finally I settled on agender, 
I'm neither boy nor girl. And at this point, I've also come to terms with, huh, I'm homosexual. Um, and that's okay. I can identify myself however I want to identify myself. Um, coming out to my mom as a gender was really difficult. She doesn't really understand it because gender is such a new concept. So please understand that gender is a hard thing to come out with. Um, probably harder than sexuality because not many people understand the gender spectrum as much. Um, people often forget that there's that T at the end of LGBT+. Plus. Um, the T is loud like a dinosaur. We are T-Rexes. It's just kind of funny that I've got my Reptar shirt on. Um, it's, it's a hard thing to do and the T end of the spectrum gets a lot of um, negative comments and violence and a lot of misunderstanding but you're not alone um it's a really hard thing to come out with saying i am not the gender that you thought i was for x y or z years that's really hard for some people to come to terms with especially if you ask them to call you a different name use different pronouns um change their entire view of you that's really, really difficult for them. You, they are literally rewiring their entire brain when it comes to thinking about you. And that takes a lot, a lot, a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of practice, a lot of patience. So if you come out with someone and they are trying, please be patient with someone. If they're trying so hard, because it really is. No, it's not as easy for everyone to just say, okay, you're this new name, okay, you have these different pronouns, let's go. Especially if they don't understand. Um, and I do kind of want to make a whole new video about this because I am running a little long. Um, so I might just talk with our vlog owner and make a new vlog about this. Um, but if you do need any help with coming out, I've helped dozens of people on my gender blog, which is all dash none dash or in between dot tumblr dot com. I've helped people with their sexuality, with their gender, coming out the first time, coming out as something else for a second, third, fourth time, coming out to certain people, um, coming out to themselves. Um, I'm here to help. Uh, so that's me, Skylar came out over and over and over again <laughs> and the T in LGBT is not silent it is loud like a dinosaur Skylar T-Rex bye